Okay, I'm out here inspecting the hive. Um, this is the hive I replaced the queen in. And I'm checking each frame for anything. So one thing that affects these bees, well, one of the things is the um, black beetles and the wax moth. The wax moth lays eggs, the eggs hatch, create, creates a cocoon over themselves and just um, sticks their head out to eat the um, wax and the honey. And this is how you can identify them the wax moth and their cocoon. Right here, you can see that's a cocoon where the worm is in. It's a wax moth larva. If you let it go, it will eat up this whole this whole wax area and destroy the whole hive. So on two frames, I've already took it out. Let me show you when I, when I dig it out. You, you'll see. Right here, there's a worm in here. So we can get it out with one hand so you guys can see it. Wax moth lay the eggs in here. And when these eggs hatch and this worm comes out, all this sit here and eat the wax and comb all day. Okay, I'm about to use two hands with this. But anyway, there's a larva in there, and um, that larva is what destroys the hives. And I normally do once I dig it out, I dig out around it as well. So many inches around it. All that yellow stuff you see is pollen that the bees collect. So yeah, I'm, they're gonna lose a little bit of pollen, but compared to what the hive beetle would do, I mean, the moth, wax moth would do to the hive. A little loss is worth it, getting, especially getting them out of there. They will eventually rebuild this cone over here and harvest. I mean, um, what's the word? Oh, it's too early in the morning. They'll collect all these pollen back again and reuse it. Okay, I'm gonna look the other side. Now, I'm gonna show you here. Right here is the, is the drone, the male bee. Right here, here's the drone. You can see how big the bomber's body is. It's a drone. And he doesn't have a stinger. He's much bigger than the rest of them. You see a little hive beetle right there? I gotta take that one out of there. I gotta put some traps in here. Kill a hive beetle. That's a dead bee. Okay, so what I'm looking for in here is some um, broods and babies that the queen laid, the new queen. So I'll be right find back. A larva of a wax moth. And here it is right here. That sucker right there will destroy a hive in no time. And it stays so hidden underneath this cocoon I showed you earlier that the bees, it's hard, to, it's hard to be, for bees to get to it to kick it out the hive. So that's why it's imperative for the beekeeper to go in there every so often and check for these bad boys and get them out of there. When you are, when you are inspecting hive, inspecting the hive for the queen, one of two things you want to see to see if she's um, in there or she's or if she's even productive. Now on this side here, you can see the female bees and that big bee right there is a drone. It's a big body. It's a big body boy right there walking away. That's a drone. You see those little eggs? I'm not eggs, I'm sorry, the larva inside there. Those white larvas. Shim as the queen is in there and she's laying. The white larvas all all over the place and show the other side. Here's the other side with all the larvas. So if I don't see the queen and I see this, that means she's doing pretty good. She's laying eggs, she's accepting her, she's okay. Now what I'm gonna have to do to keep the um, wax moth from coming in here is to reduce the amount of boxes that this beehive have. So we have this big deep right here, and this one, and those ones right there, I'm gonna take that deep off the bottom to reduce the amount of space, and that's why they got the wax moth larvas in there. So. I'm still see if I can find her. If I do, then I'll bring it back and show you in the video.